Let's take a look and see what family we've got here. Hi, we're the Young family. I'm Joelle. I'm Sherman. And we have three children. Dylan, who's 13, Shermie, who's five, and Shelby, who's almost four. I'm a customer service representative. Sherman is a concierge, so most of the time I have the kids at night and Sherman has them during the day. When it's time for me to go to work, I have to take them to Joel's work and then we switch out. Ah, ah. Kids are just out of control. Watch my other game! <laughs> Stupid! Sherman, that's enough. You sit down. She was kicking on me! That seems frantic. The one out there in play. Oh. Sherman is very aggressive. Hey! Sherman believes that it's his way or the highway. If he doesn't get his way, everybody's gonna pay for it. It's definitely very physical. Hitting, hitting, hitting. Shermie tells me he hates me and kicks me. Do not kick me. Shermie tends to be very aggressive with Shelby. He has hit her. That. Choked her. Sherman, Sherman. Whenever he wants to. That is one angry little boy. Let go of it, Shelby. Shelby can be very dramatic. She's stubborn. She does cry a lot. If you're playing a game and she decides she doesn't want to play it anymore, she'll throw it away. Shelby Marie. Ever since Shelby was seven months old, she's been climbing. No, no, no. Down. Anything she can climb on, she climbs on. I think a lot of that comes from Shermie. He does the same thing. One of my biggest issues with Dylan is he's not very patient with the kids. I'll get out. He tends to go in his room a lot. Shermie wants to be with me all the time, but I'd like to have my alone time away from everyone. Come on, Shermie, you got to come out. I'm emotionally exhausted. I'm physically exhausted. I know kids are going to be kids, but I would really like to just come home and have a happy family. We really need the Super Nanny's help. If we continue to yell and scream, I mean, nothing's going to change. <laughs> you need to settle down. Super Nanny, we really need your help. Please. Oh, yes, you do need my help. I'm on my way. How are you? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Nice to meet you, I'm Joe. Come on, I'm Sherman. Nice Good. to meet you. Who's these two little ones underneath here? Shermie and Shelby. When Joe first came in, I saw her focus was right on the kids. It kind of made me at ease. I'm Jojo. What's your name? Shermie. Shermie. What's your name? Get off me. Get off me. <laughs> the children were just reserved. Hi, Shelby. They were just observing me and doing what I normally do when I arrive in a family. Sherman, you know that I'm here today to be able to observe your family and I'm going to watch you throughout the day. Great, thank you. So where's your wife is? She's at work right now. Okay. Right. So then she takes the kids back home, I go to work for the night. All right, so just switching exactly. over the pair of you all the time. It's like a kiss and bye. <laughs> <laughs> so it was Dad's time to look after the kids, but they were left to entertain themselves. Kids are bored. Dad was in his own little world on that computer. I guess the yelling got loud enough because Dad got off from the computer and went and checked on the children. Sherm. I didn't do that. Won't you make up the other one? You have to help me with something. The kids really wanted Dad to play with them, but he was just so reluctant to just join in and have fun. Can you help me with my train track? Well, you know, you, you know how to do it. And he passes them off with, oh, you can do it, you can do it. Uh-oh. Sherm, you're going to break it. Ah! Please stop. How do you do that to her? Would you go in timeout? One, two, three. OK. You want to apologize to your sister for hitting her? Mm. You say you're sorry? I'm a little bit confused here. Is he on timeout or or is he just refusing to kind of talk to you and be in his right. bed? Yes. I don't think that I was the only one that was confused because discipline in this house seems make it up as you go along. Me and Shelby can do it. Yes, yeah, so I can see the climbing monkeys. They climb up the door frames within the house. Uh-huh. They climb on the countertops. They generally do not listen to their father when he's asking them to get down. Please stop. They think it's a game. But this house is not a playground. Mm. Daddy, did she do All it? All right. 
What do you find challenging for you as a father, being at home with the kids? Joel can sit down with the kids and color with them. I'm not real big on that. I wasn't quite sure what he meant by that, but I can see that occupying the children indoors is a real challenge for him. You recognise how challenging it can be. Absolutely. I could sense with Dad that he's just trying to get through the morning oh. and he's robbing himself of having fun with his children, and that's what I find a real big shame. Ready? Let's go get Mommy. Every day, Mum and Dad hand off the kids. In I go! <laughs> Buckle up, Charm. There's a lot of time pressure when we switch the cars over with the kids, because I have to be at work at a certain time. Mama! Mama! This exchange was absolutely crazy. Yeah. Mum and Dad don't have time to talk. The kids were out of the car. I just can't believe they do this every day. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My first time I see Joe, she's stuck in the back of my van with my kids. Um, it was just a little funny to see that, that situation. Gotta get strapped in, please. Come on in, you guys. Yeah. When we got back to the house, I had the pleasure of meeting Dylan, who is a very sweet boy. He really is. Hi, Dylan. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. Joelle, it's... Five o'clock, mm -hmm. what goes on now? I'll do dinner and I try to either get Dylan to entertain the kids or they just kind of entertain themselves in the house. Okay. For okay. now, I'm going to carry on and just okay. watch you. No! Yes. Um, excuse me. Trouble started straight away. I'll get out. No. Yeah. Shermie was doing absolutely yeah. everything to get into his brother's room, but Dylan didn't want him in there. Dylan doesn't want to play with you. Now, come on, out. Out of Dylan's room for now until after dinner. Now, let's go. Out now. Yeah. Well, then you don't get to come back after dinner. Yeah. I just want to finish making dinner for the family. Had enough. Shermie clearly doesn't respect Dylan's space, but I wanted to speak to Dylan about how he felt about this. I thought I'd have a, a quick chat with you. OK. Without the other little terrors in there. Yes. Disrupting our conversation. Shelby and Shermie are always coming in. You're like, oh, I want to play too. That must just really get on your nerves. It does, really, for a whole lot. Who deals with the children then when they're in and out, in and out? Uh, mostly me. Mum and Dad take care of it? Uh, iffy, iffy situation. He does need his own space. He's a teenager. He's 13 years old and, and he's entitled to that. Do you feel you get enough time with with Mum and Dad? Do you feel like you have enough time? I don't really think we have enough time because dealing with Shelby and Shermie cuts out of the family time. Say, like, we're going to watch a movie and we don't get to. Yeah. Dylan told me that he would really like to spend more time with his parents and that he doesn't get the opportunity to do so because they're so busy having to deal with his younger siblings. Now that's not nice. Stop it. And it doesn't surprise me. In a minute, you're going to get a spanking. Do you want a spanking? Speak to you later. OK, bye. Bye. That's very beautiful. Whilst I was in Dylan's room, Shelby made Shermie a really pretty picture. That's not nice. She made you a nice picture all on her own. Uh, yes. Sherman, that's enough. <laughs> Do not rip Sherman Ray. Shermie held up a picture that Shelby drew for him and he mocked as if he was going to rip it. Put it down. Yeah. Sherman, why did you do that? It's so typical of Shermie. He does that and hoping to hurt Shelby's feelings. Sherman, I'm gonna spank you. You stay right there. You do not need to treat me like this, and I mean it. <laughs> I felt like I was watching a wrestling match. I did not tell you to come out. The energy that was put into this fight was really sad. It was that bad that it was sad to watch. You are not coming out until you stay in here and you can behave. <laughs> ah! Get out! I beat. Just exhausted, but I'm also very hurt. It starts to make me feel really, really bad. Where are you at right now? I'm ready to cry. It kills me. Shermie drives his mother to despair. I just, I, 
feel like he hates me, you know? That's enough! And I don't know what else to think. I hate you, I wish you were dead. That comes out. How does that make you feel when he says that? If you hear it enough times, it hurts. It kills you. What time is dinner normally? Usually um, 6, 6.30. Finally, the children settled down and the family gathered together to have dinner. But Shelby was in front of the television by herself. Why does Shelby sit at this table when you lot are at that table? We'd like her to sit up here, but she'll eat her supper usually if she's there. So is it the chair or is it the television? I think it's both. This family are missing out on such an opportunity to come together and exchange words about how their day's been. I need to be able to change this as soon as possible. I'm pretty nervous what Joe's going to say to me because I already know what some of the issues are, but I know that I'm going to hear it straight from her, which is a little more intimidating. You both work different schedules, and I can very clearly see the sacrifices that you have made for making sure that you can provide that stability for your home. But... The lack of respect towards the pair of you is never followed through with discipline. I see you, Joelle, fight with Shermie for over 30 minutes. Sherman, I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four. The games you play with yourself are ridiculous. Your children don't know what discipline is. Is it the bedroom? Is it a spanking? Or is it one, two, three, four? What is it? Because I don't know. I never saw any. It's whatever seems to work, which is nothing most of the time. How can you expect your children to meet lines of expectations when you set no boundaries? Your children climb up on the walls. They go on the countertops. They're aggressive with one another. They're in and out of Dylan's room constantly. Well, that's why we put some locks on the doors, which maybe isn't the right thing to do, but it's very disheartening. But it's having to be done because you guys are not stepping up. They watch television when they want to watch television. They actually do what they want when they want to do what they want to do. Absolutely. Dad, I heard Shermie say at least five times yesterday, Dad, come and help me with the train track, come and help me. And you were like, you can do it, you can do it. Now, where was that coming from? I don't know. I just... I guess my priorities are not there. You have two young children standing in front of you saying, Daddy, give me some of your time. Well, that's your role as a father. Mum, when you come home, it's like you've got boxing gloves on. You're ready for a fight. I think I'm just expecting one. You're like, right, I've got to get this done, I've got to get that done. It's about what you need to get done. But what you're failing to see is what your children need from you as well. And that is your quality time. And they don't get it. So how does that make you feel then? Well, I mean, it makes me feel very guilty. Let's recognise what is the most important priority. And that is you spending quality time with your children. The question is, do you want to spend that time or not? I do. We do. We have three great kids. Very much so. But it takes hard work, it takes commitment, and it takes the pair of you working together. Right. So are we prepared to turn over a new leaf today? Absolutely. And start changing sure. that for the better? Absolutely. That's what we want. Good, OK. So let's get started straight away. OK. OK, good. My feelings were hurt but not because I took it personally what she said, just because I know a lot of the issues in my family are mine and Sherman's fault. Hello. Hi. Hiya. Look what JoJo's got here for you all. The young family routine. That's right, Mum. So, Dad, when you're at home in the morning, your day's going to start from 8 to 9.30. And that's your time with Shelby. Take her to an activity, take her to the park, but let's see you getting out, all right? OK. And then four to five, the switch off with Mum. That's you guys. 
switching over and we are also going to make sure that you guys have got deeper communication by letting each other know exactly what's been going on in each other's days. Okay. All right, and we will get to that as a technique. Okay. All right. From 5 to 5.30, when you get back with Mummy, okay, into the house, you're going to have TV and video games. So you can watch television and you can play video games. But if your behaviour is naughty and you misbehave, all right, then it's going to be taken away. You understand? Yes. Sherby? Good. What I've got here are some no zone areas. Okay. These kids climb on just about everything, like they're in a gymnastics hall, and I need to be able to change this as soon as possible. You guys are going to put these up in your no zone area where you're not allowed to go, and together you're going to decide where they are. No go zones are a great idea. My kids are climbers. They climb on everything. You can't get up here to get into this. No counter. If you can reach it, that's great, but I don't want you to put your feet on here. You let mommy and daddy open right. up the door. And you don't run outside and just take off running. Dylan's bedroom is a no-zone spot, and Shermie and Shelby have got to learn to respect Dylan's privacy. When you see the red circle up here, it means that you're not allowed to go into Dylan's room. If you see this one, and it says, come in, you must knock first and wait for Dylan to say, come in, or who is it? Not long after we put up the no zone markers, Shermie decided to test them out. I'm going to get Dylan. Uh, he's got, when he comes out for dinner, we can. Oh, I'm going to just go here. The sign. Oh, the sign? OK. Yep, yeah, it is. It is? OK, that's a good boy for not knocking them. Good job. At first, I wasn't sure if the kids would just think they were a toy and they could pick up and take them away. But they are paying attention to them. Later on that afternoon, Shermie was refusing to respect his mother and didn't come up from underneath that table. If you come here and talk to mommy... Mom, mom stop. Right there. OK, we're nipping this straight in the bud and you're teaching your children right now how to talk to you and address you. Shermie, I want you to come into the kitchen and talk to mommy. If you don't, you will go in the naughty corner. For not listening For to mommy. For not mommy. listening to mommy. So? Take him to the corner, you explain, and you walk away. <laughs> Come on, Charmin. Firm voice, Mum. Sherman, <laughs> I'm putting you in the naughty corner because you did not listen. You will stay here for five minutes. Shermie wasn't in the naughty corner for a minute, and he just bolted off again and refused to sit there. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> now I'm going to end up chasing him through the whole neighborhood. <laughs> I was really wondering if this was going to work for Shermie or not, because he's very strong-willed. And when I saw him bolt outside, even though Joe was there with me, I was thinking, oh my goodness, this is, this is going to be rough. I can climb the tree real fast because I'm a monkey. Sherman, I want you to come in the house right now. No! They tell him that if he doesn't get down from the tree and if he doesn't come into the house, he's automatically going to lose his video game time, OK? Sherman, if you do not come into the house right now, you automatically lose your video time. <laughs> Sherman, if you do not go back there, you will lose your video game privileges. Shermie got up and he sat straight into that naughty corner. No chair on the corner. This is not a comfort spot here. It's not for your comfort. <laughs> right, Mum set the timer for five minutes. For the first time, he knew Mum meant business. I was completely surprised when actually it worked out where he did stay on that naughty corner for that whole five minutes. Shermie, mommy put you in the naughty corner because you were not behaving nicely. Now, I would like an apology, please, and I will let you up. No, please. 
And in the end, she did go back and get an apology from Shermie, and it was resolved. When Dad gets home, he normally ends up in front of that computer. So I wanted to make sure that he gave his children full focus and I sent them all to the park. They want to climb on the monkey bars. They want to swing on the swings. They want to do what they want to do here. Let them get it out of the system. Shemi and Shelby climb on absolutely everything because they need an outlet for their physical energy. So this is their playground, not the home. And you can always say to her, I saw you on that. That was fantastic. You balanced really well. Shelby! I saw you do that, baby. Good girl. <laughs> Shermie, Shelby, can you come with me? Because we're going to go over to that big hill over there. The kids were having great fun in the park, and Dad was looking on at them. So I gave him a nudge and said, go and have fun with them as well. Shelby, should we get Daddy to roll down the hill? Daddy, roll down the hill. Should we get Daddy to roll down the hill? Roll down, oh, roll, oh, roll, oh. roll, roll. I think Joe was trying to get me to be a little more active with the kids. I can do what they can do. Oh! You know, I can get out there and play with them like the best of them. Come on, baby! And we put Daddy down the hill. And he saw that they enjoyed it, so I'm hoping that it will encourage him to just be himself, do what he wants, because that's what matters at the end of the day. It was very fun. I mean, like I said, I did some things I haven't done in years. <laughs> Okay, so between four and five, we've got the switch off. There isn't any time to communicate about your day, so we have this. Okay. It's a very simple idea. Before Dad leaves, he reports about the day, he lets her know exactly what's gone on, and then he leaves it with Mum in the car to listen on the way back. Hi, honey, it's me. Just wanted to let you know we had a great day today. Breakfast went good. Went to the park. That was great. Uh, Shelby did take a nap. Shermie ate his snack, and Shelby did not eat her snack because I woke her up and we're on our way out the door. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye-bye. I think it's very important for Joel to know if they've had any privileges taken away, if they ate everything, you know, at their snack times, so she can go by that. How are you? Good. Hi. Oh, what's this? Communication device. Oh, it just lets me know what you did for the day? How cool. <laughs> I was a little surprised when he handed me a tape recorder. And he told me that uh, he kind of recorded what him and the children did during the day, and that was for me to listen to on the way home. And we're at the park today. I got to roll down the hill about six times. But so that was fun. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye-bye. Daddy went down a hill today at the park. Did you have fun at that park? Yeah, you turn did? it on again. Yeah. Yeah. OK. <laughs> it's pretty useful, actually, being so rushed. I am able to get a lot of information from Sherman on that tape. When the young family sit down to have dinner, they're all really quiet. So I'm giving them an opportunity to come together to open up conversation with a talking stick. What is it? That's something very special at dinner time. Is it magic? Sort of. Shelby, you want to help Mommy set the table? Children were so excited with the talking stick, Shelby left her little table to come up to the main table. Shelby's going to sit with us tonight. I was really surprised Shelby sat at that dinner table and didn't even want to go sit at her little table. That was great. That is the talking stick. OK. Talking and every stick. night, I'm going to give that to somebody, and they are going to think of a topic they would like to talk about. Dylan, I'm going to give it to you tonight. What did he get? Well, you might be tomorrow night, OK? Me too. Yeah! Whatever he wants to talk about tonight, we're going to talk about, OK? School. What, what happened at school today, then, Dylan? We watched, like, a movie in science and stuff. About? Like that. Paramecium. And, what know, is that? It's like these little cell things, and they, like, swim around in pond water. And what a change from the last meal time. Everybody was talking and listening and really enjoying the conversation. Dinner um, with all five of us sitting at the table is really nice, with no TV on. Just us talking is, is really good. It's great. When I was speaking to Dylan, he was saying how he would love to be able to spend more time with the pair of you. And because of the circumstances, it hasn't allowed him to do that. Before I leave, I think it's really important that Joelle and Sherman recognize that Dylan needs their time too. Because he can't be looking after Shermie and Shelby all the time, so I'm going to set them a homework assignment. I'm going to do something fun, all right? I thought it might be quite a funny idea to just 
write an invitation down to him, like mum and dad invite you to bowling, for instance, you know, for okay. the evening. You know, All just right. something quirky, but he may find okay. that amusing. Okay, so. that'd be fun. Jeremy, come and see me at the door and say goodbye to me. Shall we? Come on, come and give me a big hug. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that while Jones is gone, I think we will be able to pull it off. Dylan, I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. Oh, see you soon. Joel? Uh, see, you. see you soon. Oh, All right. Yeah. Work together, keep strong. Okay. You know, you've got to be doing the naughty corner, yeah. lots of praise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And remember, no confrontation. Okay. All right. Okay. Follow through, be consistent. Okay. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Those younger children are going to test German and Joel, but I hope that they really do stick to the techniques and take a little time out for Dylan too. Let's see if Mum and Dad are working on that homework assignment I gave them. When Mum and Dad came to my room, they had a makeshift invitation for me, and it said, Dylan, you are invited to bowling with Mum and Dad. It was really nice that they just decided to throw that card together instead of just asking me. Will you accept the challenge? Sure, sure. <laughs> That's really wow. wonderful because Dylan seems so excited. You're first up, buddy. Ah! Almost. <laughs> Bring it on. Oh. oh my god. Do we need to put the bumper thing on? Yeah. <laughs> bumper lanes would be good. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Bob. Don't smoke enough. Uh oh. <laughs> that was good, Dylan. Perfect all the way. The thing that I enjoy about my parents is that whenever we get a chance to go out together, we have a blast. They just like to have fun. That couldn't have gone any better. Whoa. Fantastic. It's really good to see the boys out together. Well, I didn't call him a baby. Dylan, yes. I'm sure me. Yes. You guys are not supposed to fight with each other. I want you guys to play together. Maybe Dylan doesn't want to play. I think I'm forced to spend more time with Shelby and Shermie, and it gets a little frustrating after a while. He was being a little baby, and I got first. Hey, Dylan, that's enough, son. You don't have to keep going on and on. I would just like to maybe have my own time. I suggest you stop it. Stop. You're not supposed to run into people. You said I could ride it. I went back there. To... Fine, whatever. You... Go ahead. I don't really know. I can see that Shermie is getting on Dylan's nerves. I don't even want you around me. Dad, maybe you should hang with Shermie and give Dylan a break. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm trying to... That's good to see you spending time with the kids, Mum. No. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to sit here in this corner for four minutes because you broke one of our house rules, and that is no hitting at any time. Shermie will cry and I punch him in the eye. Do not get up. Boy, is she trying to test you, Joelle. This is a naughty corner, not a playtime. <coughs> Shelby, you go to that naughty corner right now. Shelby, I am not playing chasing you around this house. Don't engage with her, Mom. Just put her back. Shelby, to the naughty corner right now. <laughs> You do not hit me in the face with a doll. Get in this naughty corner, and you stay here for hitting mommy and for hitting your brother. Shelby's overriding your authority, Mom. You need to step up and sort this out. You throw one more book, Shelby Marie. Thanks. Hey, no playing videos or watching TV. Mom, these empty threats are getting you nowhere. Don't you dare. Hmm. Looks like she's got plenty to read. <laughs> I knew when I came into the house and I saw Joelle's face, she was very upset. She was at the end of her line. I've done everything that I thought I should do or could do, and um, I don't even know what to do anymore. Joelle, don't give up, because I'm heading back and we'll sort it out. 
pretty nervous about what Joe's gonna have to say about the DVD, because I went back into my old mode of being on the defensive. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Okay. Whoa! There we go. <laughs> that was good, Dylan. We had a good time. It was funny. You so badly needed it. <laughs> great, absolutely great for you guys following through with that. Thanks. I suggest you stop it. You said I could write it. I went back there. To... Fine, whatever. You... I don't even want you around me. What do you think about that piece of footage you've seen there? <clears throat> Sherman wants to be around Dylan. He wants to be with Dylan all the time. And we understand that, you know, Dylan needs a space too. There's nothing wrong in Dylan having the children for an hour to play. But at the same time, we don't want Dylan to feel forced to have to do so. Right. And he does need his space. If you throw one more book, Shelby Marie. Okay, no playing videos or watching TV. She's being very naughty there, but what she's trying to do is to get a reaction. Mum loves a bit of confrontation. She'll feed into it. Oh, and I did. I have no problem with you actually turning around and saying to her that she's going to lose the privilege of television. But what I am seeing here is you just, excuse the pun, but you're throwing the book at her. Absolutely. I was just trying to do anything to, to get that to stop. And I mean, it, it just it didn't work. Ultimately, what you wanted to do was to stop her from throwing everything on those shelves. You should have moved her away from that play area and put her into the corner, in the kitchen there, or by the back wall and carried on to what you were doing. Yes. Watching myself on the DVD was really a little bit of an eye-opener. So that's what I'm going to be working with today, with the pair of you, tweaking the techniques, put everybody back onto a positive level again. Okay. Great. All right. Any more questions? Mm. OK, let's start working again then. OK, All great. Right. Dylan has expressed to me that he feels totally obligated to look after Shermie and Shelby. So I wanted to make sure that he could express himself to his parents, and I encouraged him to do so. I think it's really important, Dylan, that they know how you feel. Just to say to them, look, I'd like a bit of free time and stuff, and just tell them how you've generally been feeling. I had a lot of trouble talking with my parents. If I had problems, I'd keep it to myself, and I would hold it inside. The thing is, Dylan, is that when you tell your parents how you're feeling, you give them a chance to be able to change it for you. Mm -hmm. Mum and Dad were eager to listen and Dylan was ready to talk, so I gathered them all together for a conversation. We can tell that you're very frustrated with Shelby and Shermie and, you know, we understand that a lot of that is because we had you take care of the children for us. So, how are you feeling about it all? As soon as you get home, I go out and give you a hug and come straight back in, you know? Because I think, well, I'm going to probably have to watch Shelby and Shermie and I don't want to do that. Uh -huh. So I come in here. Yeah, I understand that completely, and we really want to try to make things better for you, and that, you know, you're not forced or feel forced to take care of them. We're trying to teach them how to play together without fighting, and we're going to do everything we can to, you know, make everything better. I think he knows now that, that we're committed, committed to making his life easier and, um, you know, the children's life easier as well. When it was time for dinner, everybody was ready to eat, except for Shelby, because she wasn't happy with the seat she was given. Shelby, do you want to sit there like a big girl? <laughs> Think of how do I make everybody happy in this seat? You can't. So know. you know what you do? I'm sitting here, and Daddy's sitting here, and that's how it is. And Mum was totally on top of it, and she gave Shelby a firm warning. Shelby, this is your warning. You need to sit down and eat some dinner or you can go right back to the naughty corner. Come on, sit down. OK. Mum, I'm going to ask you to follow through with this. I think it's very important that you and I work together on dealing with Shelby. If Shelby started to throw those books again, then we were going to have to move that naughty corner. When she was in the naughty corner, I don't even think it was just a few seconds even, maybe, she started throwing books. So we're going straight over and sit down in this corner. Okay. So you're going to have to bring her straight down this pole here, straight down here, and she stays here. Mum is getting more confident at discipline. She's now recognising what she needs to do. You will stay here until you are ready to tell me that you're sorry. No. I'll be careful. <laughs> I was very relieved that now I know what to do when Shelby starts her little temper tantrum in the naughty corner. And eventually, she's going to learn. It doesn't matter what she does. I'm going to find a corner where she's going to go, and she's going to stay there. 
Mommy would like you to tell me you're sorry. Come on. Come on. That's a good girl. It won't take long before Mum has got Shelby behaving accordingly and diffuses those temper tantrums dramatically. She was calm. She was confident that she was going to be in control of the situation, and that reflected in her actions tonight. And so she got the positive result that she wanted. Jojo's leaving now. And I would love some little troops to come to the door and give me some big hugs. A big, 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 big hug. Show me. Bye-bye. Oh. Dylan, take care. I will. I'm going to miss having Joel around. She was a lot of fun, and we all love her. Dad, keep rolling down those hills. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! OK. And Mum, just keep stepping back, yeah. all right, and recognise. Yeah. Don't fight every battle. Yeah. All right, listen, take right. care. Thank you very much. Thank take you. care. When Joe was leaving, it was sad because it was nice having her here for the support. But uh, I know that it's OK, because since she's been here, our lives have been a lot less stressful. Take care. Bye-bye. The family really took to Joe, and that's something we'll always remember. Ah! Bye. 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 I'd like to say to Joelle and Sherman that I am very, very proud of your hard work, for your patience, your perseverance, and your courage. You've been able to change your family for the better. Joelle and Sherman are moving in the right direction, no doubt about that. Hey, shall we? Here, put it up there, baby. Things in my family are beginning to change. The kids aren't as combative. You win! Before it was put them in front of the television, and then that's that's where they stayed. All right, I'm going to count to 10, and then you guys all have to hide. Ready? Now we've got interaction with the kids. One, two. Where could Shelby be? <laughs> Shelby and Sherman are respecting my privacy a lot more. Mommy, the green sign's on there. I mean, they're paying attention to the signs. What you doing? Homework. Doing his homework. I am good, and I'm going to listen. All right, sir. I learned a lot about Dylan, and now he's going to be more open with us. And I think I've done a lot, you know, with him and molded him to what he's doing now. You know, he's a very mature, young individual. Start getting in the gym and working yeah. out. Yeah. Hi, babe. I think I've changed by, you know, lightening up. Good work, good work. I notice I'm smiling more. <laughs> I think it's a big improvement that the whole family sits at the table together and just enjoys everyone and has a really nice conversation. Very good, happy play. I'm looking forward to enjoying our kids. Be very careful, though. And our children are enjoying us. That's the way. My stress level has dropped big time. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo, thank you. I definitely feel that there's been huge improvements uh, in our family. I think that it's definitely going in the right direction.